The goal of the ARC Centre of Excellence for Coral Reef Studies is to build human capacity and expertise in coral reef science worldwide and we have achieved it. With a primary centre globally uh, training people to do research on coral reefs and in marine biology. We've been going uh, just over 15 years in total. Over that time, the centre's uh, built partnerships with about 550 institutions. Those collaborators come from over 70 different countries. This centre has supported over 700 higher degree by research students, including 480 PhD students. We have also trained over 130 early career researchers. Over half of our students have gone on to positions at universities and a third have gone on to industry and government, including at our partners, the Australian Institute of Marine Science and the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority. Over two thirds of our students and early career researchers are from overseas, including countries such as the Philippines, Kenya, Indonesia, the US and Brazil. This has resulted in a network of alumni that are leaders in coral reef research and management across the globe. The notoriety that comes with something like an ARC Centre gives visibility not only to my research, but to me as a researcher as well. The Centre of Excellence um, has a wide array of specialists in all different areas of marine biology. Positioning myself here allowed me to work with different experts in different fields. The ARC Centre does attract some of the top reef scientists around the world. I was able to reach out to a number of experts um, and fill the gaps in my knowledge. I could have trolled the literature, probably myself, but I was able to go directly to the expert. When you have a well-resourced centre, it creates a system where everybody's not in direct competition with each other and then there is the opportunity for people to be generous with their ideas and to just be interested in making the science that the entire centre does the best. I came back to the Centre of Excellence uh, because of the facilities and the support that's available. Especially the aquarium facility we have on campus is extremely large. My role is making sure the students have the skills that they need to undertake the research and be successful. One of the things that really struck me initially with the centre is this almost immediate bond and connection that you have with this community of coral reef scientists that goes beyond just your lab group or the walls of your university. A lot of my mentors and my supervisors, um, they're, they're really like friends. It's really a laid back environment and it allows me, I think, to feel really comfortable to ask them questions just about, you know, being a scientist in the world and um, how to progress and, and succeed. When you walk down the corridor, you're walking past student rooms, you're working, walking past early career researcher rooms. They're in no way corralled into different parts of the uh, institutions. We have regular celebrations associated with various, various events that force people out of their caves and into an environment where they're exchanging ideas. We provide opportunities for people to network through programs such as our weekly seminar series, the annual symposium that we run and through the training workshops and professional development opportunities. Being a scientist is almost like running your own small business. You need to do the administration and finance and, and how to organise the fieldwork. I was supported by all my supervisors uh, to be able to achieve all those things. The centre helps facilitate internships primarily through partnerships and through long-term partnerships that we have with organisations. It's a fantastic way of building relationships uh, between our researchers and our workplace that they're very likely to end up at. They get the chance to meet many different people, who, uh, many of whom are working at high levels in other countries or uh, in management positions in other places. I've been lucky enough to be a part of uh, numerous internships and fellowships. Uh, one was on the Schmidt Ocean Institute's research vessel Falker that has a remotely operated vehicle named Sebastian. This robot can dive down, you know, 4,000 meters and collect deep sea corals. And everything you collect down there is something new. There's never been a more important time to be a marine biologist because everything we thought we knew about how coral reefs work is wrong. They're all changing, and they're changing amazingly rapidly. And the legacy of our centre going forward is that we have trained literally hundreds of PhD students and early career researchers. And that capability 
for many decades will be really, really important for understanding the new dynamics of coral reefs.